When looking at pond systems for fish production, there are a number of factors to consider. For example, the depth of your ponds and their overall size will determine what species of fish you can raise and how large your annual production can be. A typical farm pond is usually at least one surface acre, but they can also be much larger. Typically, any single pond is less than 10 surface acres. Larger operations often use a system of multiple ponds to allow for better management and more flexibility in grouping fish by age and size, as well as to spread the risk if any one pond were to have a problem. The right depth for your farm pond will vary depending on your climate and the fish species you plan to raise. Each pond needs to be deep enough to allow fish to survive through the winter, even if the pond ices over. In the Midwest, a typical pond averages 6 to 8 feet in depth, with a maximum depth of about 10 to 12 feet. Another primary consideration for a pond production system is the water source. Surface water and wells are two of the most common ways to supply water to ponds. For fish production, it's best to have a way to add water to ponds in case of evaporation or leaking. Water quality management is the key ingredient in a successful fish operation, as fish health is dependent on high quality water. So it's critical to have a method to consistently monitor, evaluate, and manage water quality. When fish are in the water, dissolved oxygen levels and temperature should be checked daily. Ammonia and pH are two other water quality parameters that should be checked on a regular basis. Soil type is another factor you should consider for successful pond production. The best soil for ponds is clay so that it will form a good seal and prevent leaky ponds. Liners are available for ponds constructed without a high clay content in the soil, but these liners can be expensive, so choosing a location with high clay content soil can save money. Another key consideration is access to power. In a pond production system, you'll need power for aeration of the water to maintain a clean, healthy pond. Ponds that are stocked for high-density fish production need aeration, especially in the summer when the water gets warmer. This requires the availability of electricity directly at pond side. In addition, because proper aeration is essential to pond and fish health, there should be a method to have backup power in case of an electrical outage. So a generator system for backup power should be part of your plan. Once you have your site selected with the right soils, Construction of the ponds to allow for them to be properly drained must also be considered. Generally, fish production ponds are built with a sloping bottom so they can be drained easily and efficiently. The sloped bottom of the pond should lead to a drain. Water drained from a pond should meet all the state requirements for discharge. This may require the construction of a separate retention basin or a wetland. To find out more about specific requirements to protect water quality, you should check with local and state agencies to find out the regulations specific to your area. Well-constructed fish pond operations also allow adequate room for easy vehicle access, usually around all sides of the pond. Levees between ponds must be constructed widely enough and with enough support to allow for vehicle access that may include mowers, tractors, pickup trucks, and fish haulers. A successful fish pond production system once constructed, will require ongoing and regular maintenance to remain efficient and productive. The areas around ponds should be mowed and weeded to allow for easy access. The ponds should also be carefully managed to control aquatic vegetation as it can hamper fish production. Regular maintenance of pond equipment will be needed to prevent algae and undesirable plant growth that can reduce efficiency and ultimately cause a risk to fish health. In the winter, you'll need to remove snow accumulation from on top of frozen ponds so sunlight can penetrate the ice and allow for photosynthesis. Once the ponds are in place, there are a number of key steps involved in the process of successfully raising fish, starting with broodstock and fry management. Depending on species, there are two ways to do pond production of fry. Some of these steps may include collecting broodstock from a holding pond, separating fish by sexing, stocking the nesting pond, and harvesting fry and relocating them so they can grow in a pond with other fish of their own size and species. Or you can raise fry indoors. In this case, broodstock are collected and spawned by hand. 
The eggs are incubated indoors until they hatch, and the fry are initially reared indoors until they are feed trained and ready to be stocked in ponds. Because pond production systems are outdoors, the operation is also subject to predators and other nuisance animals. For example, geese can cause water quality problems because they add additional nutrients to the water, which can lead to algae growth. And animals such as beaver and muskrats can also do real damage to fish pond operations. Those would be considered what we would consider nuisance animals. Uh, they cause problems around the ponds. Uh, beaver here um, drop a lot of trees. Uh, they try to put the trees into the water, which can be a problem when you're harvesting. You don't want a log or a big tree limb coming through your screening or clogging up the area that you are trying to harvest from. Um, beavers can also clog some of our culverts, which can cause a flooding problem. The other problem we get more so than beavers um, is we get a lot of muskrat, and the muskrat burrow around the edges of the ponds. The burrowing then collapses and uh, causes erosion problems around the edge of the pond, can also cause safety issues for somebody walking around the pond. From the air, Herons and other birds are predatory and may eat fish. Mink and otters also can eat fish. There are a variety of strategies and ways to battle nuisance wildlife. Wire systems across the tops of ponds can reduce predators who strike from the air, and trained bird dogs can help limit the amount of nuisance wildlife. You'll need to check with state natural resource agencies before implementing any type of wildlife control program. To keep down the mosquito population, Installing martin houses around the ponds is always a smart idea. Proper feeding rates are another critical consideration for fish production in ponds. A typical one-acre farm pond can produce four to 6,000 pounds of fish. A good feed conversion ratio will be around 1.5 or less, so a lot of feed will be entering the pond. This will impact water quality, so properly managing that feed and being sure not to overfeed is critical. Feeding rates should be matched to temperature and other weather conditions so you are not over or under feeding. It is also important to store feed in a cool, dry place to avoid spoilage and prolong its shelf life. Generally, feed stored in proper conditions can last up to six months. Feed suppliers should be able to give you feeding guidelines as well as storage recommendations. There are a number of ways to harvest a production pond. Ponds that have been constructed with a catch basin can be harvested by draining the pond and crowding the fish to the catch basin for easy removal. Typical farm ponds are harvested by seines or by working with nets. Larger production ponds may be harvested with nets attached to cranes or tractors or by using fish pumps. As fish are harvested, they are generally placed into a special transport vehicle or fish hauler to then head to market or on to the next production phase. There is an established tradition of growing fish in ponds that as a new producer you can draw from. If done properly, you can be successful. Whatever aquaculture system you're interested in pursuing, there's a wealth of research and technical expertise that you should draw upon before you get started. Much of this information is free and there's no reason not to learn from the real world experience and even the mistakes others have made.